So, you both decided to infiltrate the school to investigate the hollow in disguise? I thought this was some sort of prank show. I never understood the point of those shows. Of course, for official business. Okay, starting top. Hey, don't look bored already. I'll make it short. Bellbug took a job to renovate that elementary school, the one you saw in the video. When construction was finished, I went to check the site and found there was a new companion hollow nearby. The hall is located in the abandoned parking lot just outside the construction area. It appeared recently, and if it's not contained, it might expand to the school. I've been talking with the principal. I told him it's better to report the hollow to the city administration so they could deal with it. And you're coming to us because the city can't deal with it, aren't you? Hmm, it hasn't gotten that bad yet. From what I've seen its size, if the association sent someone, they should be able to deal with it. But that's what's weird. The principal didn't report the hollow, and didn't apply for hollow compensation either. He paid the rest of our fee the very next day. I've never seen a single client who doesn't drag their feet when it comes to payment. It's almost as if we want to get Bella Bog out their hair. Well, if we're going by normal industry practices, we'd have no reason to dig into this. After construction has been fully completed and inspections have been passed, Bella Bog holds no responsibility for any future impact caused by hollows. Even if the Hall really did end up affecting the school, this clause can protect Bellabog from all consequences and responsibilities. However, if that really ends up happening, the students and the teachers at school may find themselves in danger. I get it now. And you aren't the time to just stand by and let this happen. That's right, Elle. You hit nail on the head, as expected. For uh, certain reasons, Grace and I had to infiltrate the school in disguise, get access to the only entrance to Hollow. Anton helped us find some connection, and I left the daily operations to Ben. Uh, my responsibilities have just been handling at night. Anyway, we finally got the opportunity we needed during the field trip to Lumina Square in a few days. All the students and teachers leave the school and head the square. Even if the Hollow gets out of control, we can make sure as few people as possible are at risk. So, that's the situation. Bell, Weiss, I assume you're going to take a mission?
you're here! How's Eok doing? Is brother taking good care of that little cutie? I got my hands on some amazing lucent from the outer rim. If you put it into the bangus, it's, it can drip out of the eyes. How about Eos gonna go? Hey, aren't you a teacher right now? Don't leave your character alone with that dress at home. Oh my, I almost forgot. So little Kaleida, how about you call me teach and help me get back into character? <sighs> Miss Grace, there's three students hiding because they had a fight. If we don't find them, we can't do the choir! Well, it just won't do. Unfortunately, Ms. Grace still has some to take care of, right? So can Kalei go and find them with this pro- uh, with this young lady? If you manage to find them, then... As a reward, Ms. Grace will give you the hammer she pitched at a university internship! Wh what what Shouldn't you give out a, a star sticker or snacks or something? I'll take the hammer for brother. So long as you find those three kids and convince them to come back to join the choir, you can have whatever you want. The only entrance to Hollow is in the abandoned parking lot near the school. We already confirmed the keys to the parking lot are with the principal. Usually, we wouldn't have a chance to get near, but today, the principal will come to see the choir. While his attention's on the performance, we can figure out a way to steal his keys. So the only way to obtain the keys is to ensure the choir goes ahead with no issues. That's why we need to deal with those three little ones who had an argument. Can I leave this to you? Well, I guess we have to. Oh, wait for the good news then. Little Kaleida. Miss Grace is appointing you as the leader of your little team. Who the hell wants to be the leader of a team with just one member?
understand, Lita. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Your fault? It's not like you need stupid friends like us. Once you're at that rich at school, you can probably get better friends. Come on now. If you're afraid of Em getting taken away by new friends, you should transfer with her. It's not that simple. Wait, no! Then we'll be leaving you all alone. I don't want that. That wouldn't be okay? It, it's not okay. Hey, calm down. Lisa was just looking. Even if I transfer, we'll still be BFF. Just like the Finn the boat. Even though the boat went the water park, it was still the Finn's best friend, right? Wait, didn't you say you thought those lyrics were stupid? Uh, they are. Uh. But not as stupid as me. I was so stupid that I didn't tell you about something important as transferring schools because I was so scared I'd be too mad. Hemi, you are stupid. You're the coolest kid I know. I love being your friend. Hmm. Well, even though the transfer student Kalita is pretty cool, I like Dan and Eddie the most. Ugh, don't bring up the imposter. Ooh, is Emmy jealous? Uh, uh, hey. Um, Miss Grace, I need to get to the choir. Uh-oh, it looks like she heard you. Uh, nope, I didn't hear anything. I wouldn't care even if I did. I have more important things to worry about. My popularity on some little kid. Oh, fudge, the principal. I I'm gonna hide for now, Roxy. You could try to to the choir and check things in a bit. To you all, the choir is back to business. Now for the key. The prince of sure is immersed in singing. I just checked. He put his keys in his pocket. Now we just need to carefully approach him. Give me a signal for when I strike. Ah, oh, not bad. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm, beautiful singing. Yes. Now, Grace. Here goes. <sighs> he bent down, kicked some dust off shoes. That really necessary. It's not like he's heading into a lab. Good, very good. Everyone is in sync. Now. <gasps> I got it. Oh wait, no! Flat, it slipped out of my grasp. Oh, why didn't Amber let me bring that magnetic arm? What's with these lyrics? Okay, no. All right. Got it. Huh? Miss Grace? W why are you so close? You weren't this outgoing during the interview. Uh, I... well... Mr. Principal. Oh, Emmy, good job just now. Thank you. Um, you know your clothes are dirty? They're covered in dust. I think Miss Grace just went to help you dust them off. Hmm? Dust? Oh, this dust. I, um, accidentally got it on me. Uh, yeah, it's, it's chalk. I accidentally got chalk on me. As a principal, it's normal for there to be chalk on my clothes. It would be stranger if there wasn't any chalk. Um, uh, on the other hand, Miss Grace, your outfit is strange. As a teacher and, and a model for your students, what do you have to see for yourself? Oops, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I won't wear it again. <clears throat> Although your outfit lacks sophistication, as a new teacher, this field trip of yours was quite a success. We must view these things as separation. Nothing is just black or white. Most of us are shades of gray. All right, I have other things to now. Miss Grace, I shall leave the children to you. Please bring back to school safely. This guy's a broken water pump with all the meanest noise he makes. Belle, I've given the key Kaleida. She headed off to get Anton and Ben for the next part of the plan. You should head back and prepare. She'll be in contact soon.